This video will show you how to lip sync any video to any audio in less than two to three minutes. Here's an example. I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though ambition, flow inside my DNA. Now, I don't recommend you use this for commercial purposes because there is a good chance that you might get sued. But without a further ado, the tool we'll be using is the famous old WAF 2 lip Google Colab that everybody has been using for quite some time now. For those unaware, the good thing about it being on a Google Colab is that it doesn't use your PC resource but instead those of the cloud. First thing is first, navigate over to the Google Colab page. I've linked it in the description for those who don't have it. Make a copy of the Google Colab environment for best practice purposes. And once the copy is done, you then want to run the first step of WAF2lib. Step one, AKA setup WAF2lib. I'm assuming that if you're running it in a Google Colab, then you're not really interested in what it does. You just care about the final result, a good lip synced video. So therefore I won't bore you with the details, but that should be done within a minute or so. And once it is, we then move forward to step Step two of the process. Now pay attention here because I've personally found that if you don't, you'll likely screw up. The old method of using videos directly from YouTube seems to be very buggy. And that's exactly why I recommend you actually download the video, edit it a bit, and then upload it directly into the Google Colab. Here's an example of me doing step two, three, and four in the way that I've mentioned earlier after I've completed step one. I've got my video downloaded and edited right here in my Premiere Pro, which I'll then export to my desktop. I'll then upload the video directly to the Google Colab. This can take a few minutes. Minutes. And then once the upload is done, I'll then copy the path of the file by right clicking on it and selecting copy path. Within step two, I'll select the upload method of custom path and I'll paste the path in the path to your video section. Note that for step two to run perfectly, you'll have to choose a video only where the face of the subject is visible and make sure that it has a maximum duration of 60 seconds. Oh, and the ideal resolution of the video for that step is 720p. Even if you upload a 1080p though, it will downscale it back to 720p, but this essentially just takes more time. I'll then run step two and wait. When it's done, I'll do the same thing for step three. I'll select custom path, upload the voice I'll be using directly into the Google Colab and copy pasting the path into the step three input box. I'll then press the run button. And finally, once everything has been uploaded, it's time for step four, AKA the final step. Step four will basically compile the video, the audio and the lip sync together. Now this can take several minutes, but if you follow the steps down to the T, you should end up with a final product that's been lip synced. Just like the video of Trump that I've lip synced to Kendrick Lamar's DNA. That's how you use WAF2Lip in 2023. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment any questions that you have regarding the process below. My name is Kirill Cristales and I'll catch you on the next one.